can't speak english whether you can't speak french some of you i'm speaking to you sometimes i'm speaking to spirits in any case there must be a hearing by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has been closed over your life i decree now that door is hereby open 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 number two everyone here trusting god for a job may the god that settles men between now and next miracle service may god settle you gloriously settle you gloriously in the name of jesus christ number three i'm praying everyone who has been incapacitated economically something has brought you down financially may the god of all grace the one who empowers men to prosper may he empower you tonight in jesus name everyone holding what belongs to you i prophesy in jesus name by the force of faith may it return to you by the force of faith may it return to you i don't know where the helper of your destiny is but in the name of jesus some of you maybe your helper is even here in koinonia as i'm speaking in the name of jesus i connect them to you and i connect you to them in the name of jesus christ hear me ladies and gentlemen we are in a season where god is beautifying the destinies of the saints and i pray for someone here every embargo of shame and reproach that is making men ask you where your god is from tonight may your results begin to answer from tonight may your results begin to answer if the mark of death is on anyone here whether by flight whether by accident whether by kidnappers assassins it doesn't matter in what form or fashion i'm praying by the power of the holy spirit minus you minus you for death minus you for tragedy in the name of jesus christ oh by the way i just remembered i think someone had sent me a mail i i returned from a trip and i read the mail students of university of abuja you know it was requesting for you know if they can be assisted maybe some bus service for them i just want you to know that i read that mail and we'll see what we can do about it i needed to say this yes i just i just remember that someone i can't remember the name but the person made that that um these people are students and and it's only fair that we see what we're able to do and and if the person is here thank you for your advocacy on behalf of the other people we'll see what we're able to do hallelujah i sense in my spirit to speak prophetically over any of your loved one who is on their way to hell because they have not received jesus wherever they are whether your father your mother like promise said well he was leading us to pray if there is any of your loved one who has refused maybe idol worship or whatever and they have refused that they will not make it right with god may the god of salvation visit them we schedule encounters for them in the name of jesus three more prayers and i want you to receive i want you to lift your hands i'm praying for you every anointing that must rest on your hand and cause you to go forward and to advance before the end of this year as you are lifting those hands i place that grace upon your hand i place that grace upon your hand i place that grace upon your hand go and succeed with the works of your hands in the name of jesus finally i don't know who has lost anything in your life you've lost relationships you've lost opportunities you've lost money you've lost maybe doors whatever it is you've lost various parts of your body i'm praying for you right now in the name that is above all names may the god who restores who can restore yes and can restore things may my god restore you 
May my God restore you. May my God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will be clear from your life that it pays to serve Jesus. I say it again. It will be clear from your life oh, that it pays to serve Jesus. It will be clear from your life that it pays to love Jesus. That it pays to live for Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a veil. A veil. A covering. Stopping your glory from being seen. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who that person is. I stretch my paracatos. Help that lady, my God. In the name of Jesus. That veil that has covered your glory. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. Oh. 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 outside there is something God wants to do to those outside those outside I want you to lift your hands I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names those at the overflow outside at the count of three those outside I want you to shout Jesus I'm seeing altars on fire and the Lord is telling me that these are altars of untimely death sitting on the destinies of people some of you have lost your loved ones i don't know why god is speaking to me about those outside right now i decree and declare outside at the count of three one two three shout jesus break now break now break now break now the spirits of untimely death you are under arrest by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Everyone appointed unto death. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Shame and disfavor. In the name of Jesus, to a point where people avoid you like a plague because it's as if you are carrying bad luck. They whisper to one another and say, Don't come near this person. The last time I came, I went down. I pray for you. Every negative mark upon your head that makes people to reject you, in the name of Jesus, I wipe it out tonight. 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 Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm soon to begin to pray for the, the sick. This person you had five broad years ago. You went to the hospital and they operated you and is regrowing back again. This is a spiritual thing. I'm praying right now. This is what I see in my vision. I don't know who that person is. By the power of the Lord. That devil manifesting as fibroid. It dies now. It dies now. It dies now. Praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints Sing praise Adonai From the rising of the sun 
the sun to the end of every day. out in the various overflows I speak to every spirit that has tied you down in the name of he who died and rose again this is koinonia a house that God has helped and I declare at the count of three you lose your hold on them and everything you have taken from their lives let there be a restoration at the count of three one two three go now go now Go now, never to return. Go now, never to remain. Go now, never to return. Their bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Their destinies are immune, fortified by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the sick. Just be silent. I want you to listen to me. I'm seeing something that looks like a white towel. And I'm seeing it being laid on the heads of people. Not everybody. These are specific people. It is being laid upon. And I'm wondering what is wrong. And the Lord is telling me that there are destinies that have cried. There are families that have cried. And he's coming in as a bam in Gilead. This is not just bodily sickness. I'm seeing this being laid on people right now. Father, I'm at least with what I'm seeing, it should not be less than 12 or 13. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know who this, this cloth, I'm sure is a sign of succor that is coming on a bleeding and a weeping family or a man of God. I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus as I have seen in the spirit. In truth, let it rest on your head. In truth, let it rest on your head. And by this prophetic mystery, every and all weeping comes to an end now. Hallelujah. Please hear me. If you came with a photo of someone as a prophetic contact for healing, while I'm praying now, I want you to connect. It doesn't matter where they are. It doesn't matter where they are. I sense a, a mighty healing anointing right now. Please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle. I want to pray for the sick now. Lay your hands. Lay your hands. Outside, lay your hands. Everywhere. Lay your hands. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise We raise For you are God and God alone your hand I want to pray for you right now I'm seeing so many people lifting up photos of loved ones it looks like there is a demonic onslaught of sickness that wants to bring mockery to the body of Christ people who love God and serve the Lord and then the devil just comes in sometimes as a devourer and the whole savings of families just go in one month in two months because they have to manage delicate health issues. Please, I want you to believe that Jesus heals. Lay your hands. Let me pray for you now. Whether it is a growth, 
Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus, release your faith now. I decree and declare, you gave men the power over unclean spirits. You gave power to heal even incurable diseases. Your people are here representing themselves and representing their loved ones in the name that is above all names and by the God who has sent us to be his channels of healing to the nations. I decree and declare right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, if that sickness has a name, if that sickness has a name, then I command it to bow now. Bow now. Bow now. Every blood condition be healed now in Jesus' name. Every malfunctioning heart, you receive a brand new heart now. Cancer, we call you by name and we curse you by the God of heaven. Fibroids of all kinds, you die from the bodies of God's people. Kidney failure, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle, a restoration of your kidneys. Liver failure, let there be a restoration of your liver. Gastrointestinal conditions, be healed right now. Reproductory conditions, be healed right now. Goiter, the Lord is showing me someone. Goiter, be healed now. Eye conditions, glaucoma, cataract, be healed now. Short sightedness, long sightedness, be healed now. Brain tumors, prostrate problems. Lumps all around your body be healed now. Yes. Movement of satanic objects around your body in the name of Jesus, that movement stops this moment. Yes. Deafness, whether on one of the of the ears or both of them. In the name of Jesus, let them be opened now. There's someone, you're a gentleman. You are not able to ease yourself. It looks like some, um, maybe some urinogenital problem. I don't know what it is, but you are not able to ease yourself. Excruciating pain. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, right now, this moment, I decree and declare, healing comes for you now. Amen. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Amen. Back pain, be healed now. Amen. There's someone, you came with severe pain around your kneecap. That pain is living now. That pain is living now. The Lord is showing me a healing happening for someone around your molar. Severe pain. 
it looks like it looks to you because of the pain like perhaps there may be some hole or it's some cavity problem may the lord bring you a miracle now make sure you keep believing the lord is showing me someone's mother i'm seeing her just sit on a chair she's not able to use her right leg i'm seeing a crutch in the name of jesus wherever mama is whether she's here on ground or following from across the globe in the name of jesus healing comes now healing comes now there's someone i think your elder your elder sister is having her lip swell like it's becoming twice the size of the normal human lip this thing you see i'm not a doctor but based on what god is showing me is cancer forming in the name of jesus christ i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead the way it came let it go back i say it again the way it came let it go back every dimension every dimension every dimension say in the name of jesus father let your fire fall upon my life upon my family and destroy every planting that is not of god lift your voice and pray let your fire the visitation of your fire the visitation of your fire upon my life upon my life let your fire fall upon my life let your fire bring a separation lift your hands i'm about to pray for you now we are never doing the same thing every time i rebuke devils there are lives and destinies that are under the yokes of darkness it's time for the devil to give up are we together are you ready to shout that name that is above all names let me tell you i want you to be childlike tonight and just follow these instructions and watch the wonder working power of god in your life at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus everywhere and as you shout that name the sword of the lord will pierce through every root of every challenge and begin to command victory for you are we together now especially for those of you who are coming here for the first time I'm ministering deliverance now every yoke of darkness that has tied anyone's life as you shout this name may the visitation of that fire are you ready now one two three I command the fire the fire of the spirit bring them up the fire of the Holy Ghost right now every altar and everything every high thing that is not of god i curse you now i curse you now i curse you now hallelujah i think the ground is good enough you can bring them in the name of jesus i'm praying now i'm still praying anyone's destiny that is under siege right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus i'm seeing i'm seeing like bolts of fire falling on people if it falls on you your destiny is opening up lord where are they i stretch my hands may the visitation of fire open destinies now shake it katakata open destinies now open destinies now inside outside open destinies now open destinies now hallelujah i'm seeing a horn and i'm seeing fire burning it please be sensitive
this is a symbol of authorities that sit over lives and families he said in zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 what yes thou he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against jerusalem against judah so that no man does lift his head he said but i have sent four carpenters lift your hands i'm praying right now in the name of jesus the fire of god is falling on people inside and outside in the name of jesus anyone here suppose sekatos kabariakata under any kind of demonic siege at the count of three that horn that symbol of authority that has tied your family that has tied your life it is uprooted one two three i release that fire now i release that fire now i release that fire now by the anointing of the holy ghost I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost anyone here whose life is under siege be delivered now hallelujah the Lord wants to visit the issue of barrenness but then he's using physical barrenness as a prophetic symbol for productivity so that you are not surprised if you are a man and the anointing still visits you the womb is the place where seed is planted that womb can be anything a woman's womb is just a type and a shadow of a system of increase there are people a barren woman is a woman whose womb cannot receive and multiply seed the way it is physically that's how it is spiritually you receive the word but it never produces it's barrenness you receive finances but it never multiplies it's barrenness lift your hands as i pray listen many people many people are going to be delivered from just this prayer you will be surprised to know that many of your requests are tied to this one prayer lift your hands i'm praying now that in the name of jesus ah, I tell you all I see is just fire that's what I'm seeing every spirit responsible for barrenness in anyone's life right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one I'm seeing three people I'm praying now I know because of time we can't let you come in but I'm seeing three people two are ladies one is a gentleman this prayer is for you there is an anointing as I'm speaking that is coming over for one on people outside the Lord is bringing massive deliverance barrenness is a dangerous thing listen whatever you give a barren person is as well as wasting your time because it cannot grow it cannot multiply jesus saw the fig tree it was taken from the earth taken from the earth but it was not producing in the name of jesus i'm still praying that prayer again that any life here that satan has rendered barren i stand by the anointing of the holy ghost and i decree and declare be delivered right now deliver right now from every siege of barrenness be delivered right now be delivered right now from every siege of barrenness hallelujah Kemi who is Kemi Kemi um, I may not maybe I may just talk to one or two people Kemi you are wearing red it's like it's a guy called Kemi who is that you are wearing red what's your name uh -uh, i didn't i'm saying this is i'm saying i know that kemi is a lady's name it's not a guy i will pray for you it's your hunger this is you are wearing red what's your name your name is kemi yes sir you are wearing red i'll pray for you but gentlemen you are here there is a hunger that you carry listen you came from ah uh, i'm seeing cross river 
Where? Cross River. Cross River. Cross River. Yes, you sir. came. Yes, sir. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, listen to me. Yes, sir. You came because of a hunger yes, sir. to truly get an anointing. Yes, sir. But you see, this message I preached was for you. Yes, sir. You heard what I'm saying? Yes, this running around to want to do ministry by force is not the way it works. The Lord Himself, He will give you an anointing, but He will give you direction. What you need is an encounter with the word and direction, but you will never go back the same. Receive that anointing a new dimension a new season my dear there is a spirit of prophecy upon your life in the name of jesus christ i stir up that spirit that dimension i open you to a realm where you begin to see and hear the sounds of the spirit in the name of jesus as i'm praying this i'm seeing number 11 the same thing that came on this lady the anointing of the spirit is looking for 11 people there is the spirit of prophecy. Where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Eleven people. Eleven people scattered inside and outside. In the name that is above all names. Receive that spirit. You need it. I stir it up from your spirit man. I stir it up from your spirit man. The grace for prophecy. Makatos Kabarakata. Sons and daughters. Stepping into dimensions of prophecy some of you you have only had dreams only dreams but i shift you to dimensions of visions prophetic visions you will never be the same i'm still praying this i'm still praying this there are people this is your call but no anointing has ever stirred it in the name of jesus i shift you in the spirit into that anointing the very anointing the seat of the prophetic i move you by grace in the name of jesus christ i activate it i activate it that dimension i'm praying i don't know why god is moving this way there are people the call of god is upon your life but you don't know it you don't know that the call of god is upon your life but tonight as a token the spirit of god is visiting you whether you know it or not lord where are they i stretch my hands now if the hand and the mandate of god is upon your life for your destiny in the area of the fivefold, I declare, let the anointing of the Spirit locate you. As it locates you, the Lord begins to prepare you. Where are they? Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. hallelujah there is a dangerous spirit our time is up hold on but there is a spirit that i want to rebuke now i just saw written in the air rejection hold on many of you do not know the reason why good things never reach you you stand you are watching and an opportunity come rejection is not just a state it's a spirit lift your hands don't pray don't do anything just lift your hands hallelujah that's the instruction the lord is giving me just lift your hands just do what i'm asking you to do in the name of jesus many of you will be surprised now there are people it's like a yoke i'm seeing like cowries these cowries that they use that's what i'm seeing and in the name of jesus christ as the power of god is smashing that rubbish that's how many people who have been despised been despised the bible says where you have been forsaken so that no man passes through you it says you become an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations right now i stretch my hands from the front to the back overflow one two three the roadside and online if there is anyone here under the siege of the spirit of rejection right now in the name of jesus in this silence may the anointing of the spirit begin to bring deliverance right now i'm praying it's happening right now taking away that spirit from your life please be sensitive we are doing a quick walk rejection 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost 
rejection i command that spirit to leave i'm still praying i command that spirit to leave i command that spirit to leave alongside with this there are people bad luck good things must always turn to evil when it hold, when it enters your hand no matter what it is if they give you money something must go bad a good opportunity must be destroyed you enter a relationship something must happen i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is under this kind of siege here at this miracle service fire 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 i release the fire of the spirit right now from the front to the back inside outside I command your deliverance right now. I command your deliverance right now. I command your deliverance right now. Keep your hands lifted and pray. Mighty things are happening in the spirit. I ask us to pray a prayer that the Lord put in my heart. Patterns. I'm still seeing it again. There are some of you, the same thing happens to every member of your family at certain seasons everything must happen either somebody dies or someone doesn't marry straight and correct you must have a child before you get married or something someone will rape you someone raped your mother someone will rape some kind of nonsense patterns in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout jesus lord i pray that as your people shout that name every pattern that happened to the fathers that is about to replay itself in the life of your people let it be broken at the count of three one two three i declare those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now those patterns broken now hallelujah the spirit of delay god is taking delay from someone's life that's what i'm seeing god is taking delay i'm seeing it going delay 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 not everybody but i'm seeing god is it will surprise you after this miracle service the kind of speed that your life will enter delay hallelujah my dear come this come this your first time here where are you coming from you're coming from abuja yes, i want to pray for you you had the prayer i just said we should pray yes. that prayer was was for you don't be embarrassed eh? there is a spirit of delay that must live your life you are a great lady but i see delay come it's a demonic spirit and if you are not delivered and you get up and go to abuja just like that it will be as if you did not come before the presence of god but i lay my hands upon your head and in the name of jesus christ the spirit of delay i call you by name let this lady go now by the anointing of the holy spirit go now live her life forever in the name of jesus that lady wearing lime cloth you this one come quickly please look at me salvation has come to your family the month of june look at me the month of june i'm prophesying by the spirit is the month for your family the lord is saying i should tell you he's changing everything everything completely by the spirit of the living god he's changing everything by the spirit of the living god he's changing everything by the spirit of the living god i'm hearing a name doris I'm hearing a name Doris. Doris. Who is Doris? I'm hearing a name Doris. Doris. Are you Doris? Your name is Doris. I'm going to pray for you. Your name too is Doris. That's your baby. I will pray for you. Look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus.
my dear look at me witchcraft i'm stretched the lord is just saying i should stretch my hands in front of you i stretch my hands and i declare i'm seeing an altar catching fire in the name of jesus christ i declare it by the spirit i stretch my hands that's what the lord is saying i should do i stretch my hands it catches fire now oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. victory belongs to jesus victory belongs to me oh, oh, oh. Look at me. Where are you coming from? From, from Congo. From Congo. Hold my hands. Say shame and reproach. Shame and reproach is taken from my life. Is taken from my life forever. Forever. Say it again. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Victory belongs to Jesus. Shame and reproach is taken from your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, shame and reproach is taken. Hold on, I'm not done with that. I decree and declare that shame and reproach is taken from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's father has not been paid for 11 years. I'm seeing, I don't know what the condition is, but I'm seeing at, at 11 years or so, your father has not been paid. It's something they have been pursuing. Please make sure you are honest. Who is that come? Your dad, where is he? He's in Lagos. You too? Where is he? Do you believe that if I pray for you, a miracle will happen? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we make it happen by the Spirit of the living God. I decree and declare that between now and the next 90 days, let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all coming? Your parents. No, don't. I, if, if I pray, most of you, is not, it's not that word. You are just coming just because you want... It may be related in the name of jesus I'm, I'm just praying for you as i'm touching you you see let me let me tell you something brothers and sisters you see this touch you see this touch just this touch you see there is power in it it's just that we are very carnal people do you understand after service you can hug me and jump on me but now what is on me is what makes this touch different you see that you can you can have it is not just a touch maybe a touch for Jamborean. No, 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 no. You can, I can lay my hands on you, right? And then something can come upon you. I can lay my hands upon you and then your life will change. Sometimes you see me just speak and you think it, as, as I pray like this, you see, watch your life and see what it becomes. Are, are you getting what I'm saying now? That's, that's, that's the point. The word of God that you can't see it does not mean it's not resting on you. When it rests on you like a hen over her, her, the eggs, it will stay there until there is a performance. This thing you see is not just power, it's authority. It's authority. There is authority in the spirit. It's not just power, it's authority. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying now? So it is, it is a grace, it's a gift that God can give a man. He said, for I am a man under authority. I say to one, go. It's just that many of us just sit down and we keep watching. I, be, the fact that you are here within this vicinity alone, let me tell you, whether you are inside or outside, your life will never, never be the same. If I never get to touch you, it's just that we are carnal. We are carnal. So we just feel that until you make contact with the man of god your life will not no 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 no. i don't have to give you a word of knowledge the anointing that you see this anointing through words through words i can speak to you like this the word of god
carries the anointing do you understand it's not just until maybe you, you make contact and lay hands and some of those things are just psychological it is the power of god as i'm speaking over your life if you believe you will be surprised are we together now yes a miracle service and we may not have all the time to minister the way we want to but this word if all i do here is to just come and speak i told you about the creative dimension of prophecy men are made by the prophetic word that is on them what is on you is what compels creation to respond to you in a certain way a man can lay hands on you and not lay anything everybody ministers according to the dimension of his grace my dear this lady looking at me come the lord is saying i should tell you what happened to queen esther in the bible will happen to you i don't know who you are but the lord is saying i should tell you that what happened to adasa queen esther in the bible i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ so brothers and sisters i like your heart to be open the if you come here and you are prayed for i lay hands on you and you miss the prophetic sessions you really miss the miracle service you see that you miss the prophetic session help is coming hold on the lord is showing me something help is coming i'm seeing help is coming that's what the spirit of god is saying help is coming help is coming help is coming it will surprise you help is coming when god says help is coming it means people are coming men are coming men are coming i'm saying it again men are coming this is a word for somebody help is coming in the name of jesus christ the lord is saying i should prophesy to someone it won't read june it won't read june this is what god is saying i don't even know what i'm saying listen god gave you a word god is saying you will not enter june without that miracle happening and in the name of jesus christ whoever that person is i release that word let there be a performance let there be a performance in the name of jesus christ let there be a performance i'm seeing i'm seeing a young man that came here you you are not based here you came from another city and there is the call of god upon your life but i'm seeing that not only is there a call of god upon your life i'm seeing that there is an anointing i'm not saying you should come out this is there are many people that belong don't worry the anointing will will find you there is an anointing i've not done the impartation yet but there is an anointing that is coming on that gentleman it may spill over to others but it's for one you will go back there is a revival within your territory that has been allocated to you your person in the name of jesus let the anointing of the spirit find that person now You may look ordinary, said the Spirit of God, but when my grace comes upon you, I will do wonders through your life. The Lord is saying, You may look ordinary, but when my grace comes upon you, you see, the anointing of the Spirit is the maker of men, it is not about what they want to do. In the name of Jesus, whoever that gentleman is, I bring you into that grace, I bring you into that anointing by the power of the holy spirit the lord is giving somebody a kind of anointing here listen let me describe for you how it will work if you hold someone's hand and pray on an issue it is done that's how the anointing will work if at all you hold someone's hand except you don't hold the hand of the person and pray for that person whoever must carry this anointing i stretch my hands now by the spirit in the name of jesus christ may that anointing be so lavish upon your life you will see strange testimonies as you agree with people they will note you they will note you for commanding results through prayer i 
Hallelujah. Let's pray for finances. Just allow me to we'll round up. I, I, I apologize already in advance. I will do this very fast. God is already visiting his people. Um, there is a grace for finances. I will continue to pray this until I see a manifestation of what I've seen in the spirit. Not only are there people here who are called just people, men like um, Ejimi, that are called into the ministry of kingdom finance there are people who may not be called into that ministry but they are kingdom financiers because of that call and anointing upon their life the holy ghost will shift them in a certain way to grant them access you may look weak you may not have one naira in your pocket but listen i want you to believe me as i pray for you lord jesus where are these people that you are speaking to me about let the grace let the unction that makes for this kind of possibility let it be released upon them in the name of jesus christ let that grace be released upon them help him help him be sensitive gentleman please you would have injured him for nothing be sensitive huh? in the name of jesus that grace i called him because the lord said i should minister to him that anointing is upon him i'm still praying there are people i'm seeing like coins being dropped on the hands of people in the spirit this is this is it like a token of that grace that call lord in the name of jesus christ i pray now everywhere in this congregation and outside if you are called into this ministry i declare you may not look like it but i release the grace on you may the lord align your understanding about finances may he align your understanding about business in a strange and supernatural way that will cause you to command strange abundance i declare that as a result of this prayer god will connect you to strategic individuals strategic individuals hallelujah there are people here who have please listen we're rounding up there are people here inside outside you have what we call the mantle of a savior you may not be the firstborn in your family but all the while a grace has been following you because you represent an altar i'm going to pray right now there are people whether you are young or old if that grace if you are the one that represents the altar of god in your family then it's time for that altar to begin to speak right now in the name of jesus the son of the living god for everyone here you represent the epicenter of the purposes of god in your family i stir up that altar i put fire upon that altar now let it begin to burn that from your secret place you begin to shift things in your family from your secret place you begin to command and manipulate realities from the realm of the spirit i make it so i declare it so in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah them i know there might be many people this may be the last personal case i'll deal with and then we'll pray there might be many people here with this case but there is a particular woman here you are barren you are a, there's a particular woman not that you are standing for someone you yourself please help them Madam, how long have you been married? 11 years. 11 years, no child. Madam, how long? 7 years. 7 years. Yes. 18 years in total. 
you are standing here before the people of god because you believe that god can step in you madam 18 years you've Eight. been barren for how long 18 years 18 years mm. you yes. madam will you believe if i tell all three of you that according to the time of life you will return with your children no 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 no, no. it's not amen the question is will you believe will you believe it madam where are you coming from i'm coming from jushi where is that jushi at the back of enemies where are you coming from madam you are coming from kaduna yes sir who is this lady are you married you've been barring too yes sir you too madam please if you are not married don't come out here if you are coming out for if you are if you is someone you are standing for just remain there please remain if you are standing for someone i will pray but if it is for yourself madam you too look at me you are trusting god how long have you been married i've been married for like five years but i have a child but i've been trying for like three years now you have a child yes, already sir. you yes, just sir. want another one yes sir it's all right i'll pray for you these ones don't have any the devil is a liar madam don't be embarrassed you are not standing before there's nothing to be ashamed of you too you too you are trusting god how long have you been married yes. two years no you you had a child you were even rejoicing and you had a miscarriage yes. when last year last year yes. and from that time this has affected you yes, i have to pray there's something wrong with your stomach yes. the doctor already told you i wouldn't say it in the open but then this is what is killing the baby hold on madam um you had miscarriage not even in tw in 2000 and in 2014 child, uh, that's you had a, they had to go and remove the baby yes. because the baby died inside pieces, your stomach yes. the baby pieces like yes. this inside your stomach yes sir. god is going to give you a child Amen. my dear look at me this lady the mercy of god needs to speak for you 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 love jesus you love jesus i'll pray for you but you are not in need of child what you need is mercy the mercy of god many of us don't know what the mercy of god is the mercy of god is not for sinners the mercy of god is his dimension that causes him to veto whatever limitation it is to come to help you so when we say mercy it's not just because you have to be a sinner there are certain dimensions of god that are only revealed to you at the platform of his mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yea the set time is come i want to pray and prophesy to all of you and agree with you in the name of jesus christ please go back and tell your various husbands that you were prayed for i, I love men i respect husbands but many husbands don't love jesus they don't know jesus after their wives return like this and say my husband we just went for a program they don't have what program and they cancel out all of these things it takes two to agree are we together in the name of jesus christ madam put your hand in your stomach i take away this demonic thing let it go now in the name of jesus it disappears madam i pray for you the lord opens your womb in the name of jesus madam by the grace of god you carry your child in the name of jesus christ I remove every growth from your stomach in the name of Jesus I declare that you return with your miracle madam look at me God is going to use you Amen. you are not just going to give birth to a child the hand of God is on your life it doesn't look like it but there is nothing in this life that will ever satisfy you except the service of God you will love God and serve him and with this miracle God is going to give you yes. every other woman you pray for yes, over sir. the issue of the fruit of the womb Amen, you will sir. see that God will open Amen. up your soul. in the name of Jesus Christ father you will arise and have mercy upon this my precious sister in the name of Jesus 
the voice of accusation that speaks against you i silence it by the mystery of the blood now go and have your child it's over in the name of jesus christ it's over my dear look at me go and prepare you will have a child now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit let the grace of god speak for you madam i pray for you help her please it's over right now carry your child in jesus name please stretch your hands towards the altar and let's pray stretch your hands in one minute you for yourself madam okay in the name of jesus christ it's all right madam no problem in the name of jesus christ i pray um you are trusting god for a child in the name of jesus christ somebody's sister is going to have twins hold on hold on hold on the power of god will come on that person now as i'm speaking for the sake of your sister carrying twins this is twins the lord himself hmm. there's one more person left i'm hearing the voice of children babies crying when it stops then i know that it's over i'm still hold on i'm still hearing it there is still one more person family i'm like i'm hearing the voice of children lord in the name of jesus wherever that family is i pray that you locate them right now by the spirit of the living god you locate them right now you locate them right now i'm still praying you locate them right now in the name of jesus 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 stretch your hands and let's pray please begin to pray one minute and say father whatever i have dropped here just keep her there i'll pray for her that's all right begin to pray in the spirit and declare that whatever you have dropped here turns to your testimony in the name of jesus i'm laying hands here and i'm agreeing with you impossible situations unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come please pray lord turn around our captivities like the streams in the negative in the name of the lord jesus christ let them say among the hidden the lord has done great things for them the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad we sow prayers in tears and we declare that we reap in joy lord i bow my knees to you and i cry visit your people 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 hallelujah this prayer you see we pray here is a very deep spiritual mystery it's not a ritual it's a revelation sometimes when i travel and i go the lord instructs me to do the same thing there and the amazing testimonies this for me is one of the most thorough ways of ministering to people because this is a summation of the your truest desires because you wrote them by yourself is a representation of your pain and your expectations this is you standing before god through your request and i decree and declare as i stand and step upon this request i declare rise above every challenge in the name of jesus christ the same way i'm stepping on this in the name of jesus that is how you are stepping on every situation i turn every request in this place into your testimony in the name of jesus christ hear me some of you it will be like you are dreaming the way you will see doors open in your life 
in the name of Jesus Christ every impossible situation represented here I cry to the God who is the God of this ministry that he will arise in power and surprise you for all those who have dropped their request online in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that is visiting these requests is visiting their request in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Spirit let there be miracles in Jesus name please lift your hands everyone let me pray for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ listen you see every ministry let me tell you this it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true every ministry rises and stops at the spiritual level of lifting of the man of God wherever you stop spiritually as a man of God that's where the ministry rises it's impossible to lead a ministry that is higher than your own level of grace and anointing it doesn't work that way it can't work sustainably that means that when the man of God shifts in anointing and rises it means that everyone genuinely committed to that grace and that vision not based on your personal um, your personal press but by the implication of connection you should also rise do, do we agree do you believe that yes I have seen the grace and the glory of God and the authority of the kingdom multiply and rise in my life this year like never before and I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus right there where you are inside and outside and all those connected wherever you are spiritually I prophesy to you rise and I shift you to a new dimension I shift you to a new dimension you have worked in miracles before but in the name of Jesus may your hand do wonders you have taught the word accurately before but in the name of Jesus may your tongue from tonight become the pen of a ready writer in the name of Jesus Christ you have handled some level of finances before but I shift you into figures that you have never seen before in the name of Jesus Christ you have experienced favor before but I stand here in the name of Jesus and I declare a new order of favor you have had God before but I program your ears to hear deeper dimensions of the voice of God. I pray for everyone here inside and outside the mantle that causes men to be honorable May that grace come upon you.